Hey, what are you still doing here? I know why you're still here. Part of heaven. Oh my goodness. It's not even caffeine. But anyway, before I start talking about technology, in my other video where we went jumping off cliffs, you like how I say we? <clears throat> well, I played an important part too, you know. I did all the recording. Anyway, so we found this coming down this roaring river. I seen him way at a distance and I'm like, look at what is that? I didn't know what it was and then my daughter grabbed it. And it is for little children, but if anybody would really like it, I'll send it to you. Um, I don't know what to do with it. I mean, I have family, lots of lots and lots of little children in my family. I thought it'd be really fun though to pass it along to one of you guys. I have to keep stopping the video because my recorder does not hold storage any length of time. I gotta bring it to the store today. But anyway, I wanna talk to you about technology because it can be such a burden in your family. I know that first off. So I um, want to say that it's funny that lately I've been really setting down the laws about it in my house. I didn't know what to do because when the children were little, I have three children, and when they were really young, it was very, very easy to stay connected. But now that everybody doesn't have to sit in front of one television watching one thing, everybody's off running and doing what they want to do, which is nice. I thought I'd have some company. Um, but, right, don't you think technology is a pain? Yeah, see. Do you like it too? Yes, me too. Anyway, thanks for agreeing. I, uh, so now that everybody's off and running and doing what they want to do, it's like, where is everybody? I feel so disconnected from them. And it was like this for a long time. And I didn't know how to get it back. And especially learning to unschool. When you learn to unschool, I have to keep checking the time. When you learn to unschool, you say to yourself, well, I really want the kids to be able to learn what is interesting to them because that's what's gonna help them be able to achieve whatever their future holds. So recently I had to discipline one of the kids to take away absolutely everything. And in that, and when I was writing the book I'm trying to write about unschooling, it dawned on me that I personally don't get to always be on my talents and enjoy these things. And, you know, whenever I feel like it, I would like to get to certain things. No, what am I doing? I'm living, right? Oh, thank you. Thanks for agreeing. Um, I don't always get to enjoy it. I'm living my life. And so just because we're unschoolers for the most part, not completely, but for the most part, if that makes any sense, we're learning. Um, he's so cute. Oh, look at him smiling. He's so nice. Anyway, yes, I am crazy. But um, you know what's really distracting is having to keep stopping to shut this video off. I'm gonna put you over here, little guy. All right, we're gonna we're waiting for a home for you. It's not that I don't love you. I just think it'd be really fun. Okay. 